What is up guys? It is Steady Chaos. So I want to clear something up really quick with this video regarding LG, the, the C1, the G1, the C10, the G10. A lot of people in the comment section on some of my videos are saying that it's great that LG is patching their panels. It's great that we're getting the Dolby Vision patch at 4K 120, all that stuff. The support's been good. Now they say if only LG would patch in the ability to use BFI in PC mode. They say that you can't use both at the same time. They don't know why you can't do it, but you can't. I, I gotta say, as an LG C10 and C1 owner, I do not know where people are getting this information. You can most certainly use PC mode with BFI. Absolutely, I'm gonna show you right now. So if I hit the home button on my C1 remote, I bring up the dashboard. So I am on input one right now with my PC. If you go over and edit, hit these little buttons, hit the edit button, edit inputs. Again, I told you input one is what I'm using my PC with, which is an RTX 3080 FE card. If you click on this little icon here, you can set that input to PC mode. Right here, PC mode. When you set it to PC mode, it's basically allowing the television to render full chroma information per pixel. So chroma 444 or RGB. So you see here, we'll go back to the PC desktop. So I just showed you input one, what we're currently using, we're in PC mode. Now, if you hit the gear button on the C1 remote and you bring up game optimizer, go to general, go to game optimizer, you'll see OLED motion pro, otherwise known as black frame insertion or BFI is grayed out. It's not usable so that people watching this video are probably saying, see, I told you steady, you cannot use PC mode in combination with OLED Motion Pro or black frame insertion? Well, yes, because I have VRR engaged at the source level. I have G-Sync engaged on my 3080. So watch what happens when I go into the NVIDIA control panel, disengage VRR G-Sync, and apply. Keep in mind, we are in PC mode. If you, if you again, bring up the NVIDIA control panel, Really quick, change resolution. You'll see 120 Hertz, 4K, full output dynamic range, RGB, okay? RGB, that's 444. We go back into the game optimizer menu on the C1, general game optimizer. Now we go back to OLED Motion Pro. Look it, it's available to use now. In fact, we are using it at this very moment. It's on high, off. The screen gets brighter because OLED Motion Pro or black frame insertion by default does dim the screen. Low, a little dimmer, medium, uh, not much of a difference, and high. Not much perceptible flicker. LG has done a good job on the C1 implementing BFI so that flicker isn't really too distracting. And they've also done a better job on the C1 and G1 sets in comparison to the C10 and G10 sets when it comes to uh, screen dimming. OLED Motion Pro no longer dims the C1 and G1 as much or as significantly as it did with the C10 and G10. But anyway, you can see here, I just showed you input one is what we're currently using. We are in PC mode rendering RGB right now. We have black frame insertion turned on in the game optimizer. And we go to play Resident Evil Village just to show you that it works. And heck, you know what? HDR is gonna kick in too. So let's skip through the menus here. HDR just kicked in. <laughs> so we are in 4K, 120 Hertz with Chroma 444 full color in PC mode running black frame insertion on high. So this misnomer going around the YouTube community from some people that you cannot use black frame insertion in tandem with PC mode and Chroma 444 RGB is completely wrong. It's just, it's just wrong. I don't know where people are getting this from. Uh, I don't know why some people have per perpetuated this, I, I don't want to call it nonsense, but incorrect information. But you can most certainly use BFI in PC mode. I'm doing it right now in combination with 4K 120 Hertz RGB 444. You cannot use black frame insertion in combination with VRR in any mode. Those two are exclusive from one another. You cannot use them in combination. So once you disable G-Sync or VRR at the source level, BFI becomes available to engage and that's exactly what I've done here. 
I'm not sure why people would prefer to use black frame insertion over VRR. VRR is far superior for gaming in my experience. It just presents a much smoother picture. Um, but hey, if, if you want to use BFI and you want to get the best color reproduction possible with Chroma 444 in HDR, you certainly can do that as I'm showing you here. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Otherwise, I will see you guys later. Peace.